what up peeps it's mama from joe mama here and today we're back finally with minecraft story mode season two episode four take three <laughs> um i know i said i was gonna start recording it yesterday but this cold has really got me down so i just relaxed yesterday so today we're doing the recording and I had earlier shut my cloud off without thinking, you know, the OneDrive. And I had to redo the whole backstory again. So I don't know if it's registered episode one, two, or three. I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> I guess we're going to find out. Don't you just love previously on Minecraft story mode? The admin, a villain who can become anyone with the wave of his hand. How do you face a foe who's never exactly as he seems? Do you refuse to hide who you really are? Even when it might be a better idea to stay. <laughs> Under the radar? Not everyone can face a trickster head on. Some join him. Others put on a brave face, even when they're scared. No matter what, encountering that kind of evil changes you. It can turn you into a maybe our, hero? Maybe our choices are the same, hopefully. Or something else. If there's a lesson to be learned, it's be careful when you get close to an admin. You never know what might happen if you dig too deep. And this is where it shut off on me last time. No, nope, looks like it's gonna play. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Thanks again for not leaving him behind. Though, let's be honest, no way you'd pick some llama over Nermi here. She's not just some llama. Luna's back there all alone. Probably scared. We needed Nerm with us. He's part of the team. <laughs> so was Luna. I should have picked. I hope one is okay. Wow, you were right. There's a whole world down here. The first world. Created by us. Romeo, Fred, and me. Haven't seen it since I was imprisoned. Before he bedrocked over it all. You made this? Not this. This shadow. This is way worse than I imagined. That he do something like this to his own world. How did nobody know about this? It's just been down here this whole time. <coughs> Romeo didn't want anyone to know. Wanted people to forget. He probably wants to forget about it too. I knew what mm. Romeo planned to do. But still, seeing it like this. Romeo, the admin. Oh. It's worse than I imagined. This is the room where he killed Fred. Wow. I watched it happen. We refused to join him and it was slow. He needs to be stopped. A 
That's why we're here. He hurt you, and he'll hurt more people. I wonder if he had a heart at all. Or he was just a monster pretending to play along. Fred's keep is that way. Want to defeat Romeo? The weapon's in there. That sounded vaguely ominous. Mm. Is that? A giant Enderman? That is the biggest Enderman I've ever seen. Romeo never could leave well enough alone. He liked toying with the basic order of things. Holy cow. Another admin created monstrosity. Time to move, guys. Oh, no. <gasps> so mesmerizing. Not in the eyes, Radar. Don't look at its eyes. Did I die already? <laughs> I didn't click it in time. Thanks. the tower. Talk about being mesmerized. Okay, I got it this time. Giant Enderman. What Who was that? Do, do you guys see? Jesse, we gotta go. Who was that? No oh, spider. Come on, tell more of a backstory. Minecraft Story Mode Season 2. The graphics on this is so amazing. <laughs> Look at that. is a completely self-sustaining city. It's... Oh. Destroyed? Mm, yeah. Pretty much. What? What happened to it? I'm so sorry. I can only imagine if I saw Beacon Town like this. Save your pity. Dude. Wait. This is your town? What has he done to it? Hang on. 
I just need to see if it's still here. We have to keep moving. No telling what the admin is up to in Beacon Town. And they'll all think it's me. That's true. Oh, Nermy, Nermy, it's okay. Come here now, it's okay. No, no. Are you guys okay? Nerm here was poking around and found a llama blanket and, um, it made him think of Luna. <laughs> Nermy, no. Come on, pal. No. I know it's kind of hard to think about, but Luna really is safer in the Sunshine Institute. Fighting the admin could be really dangerous. Right. <laughs> Yeah. Thanks, Jesse. Years without sleep. Years. <laughs> Only rest is at home. Won't rest until I get there. I said. Zara. <laughs> Look at this. My bed. Come on. She's freaking out about a bed. Really? Could she be any more melodramatic? <laughs> Be nice. I'm being as nice as I possibly can. No, no, you're right. Sorry, Jesse. I just wanted to sleep. I thought if I could find this one thing, one last thing still whole, there's no hope for this place. I'll never get it back now. I made sure. Mm. I know you're upset, but you can sleep once we've defeated the admin. That has to come first. So simple for you. I was not dried out. Stuck open. Gross. Maybe. Not much use stuck down here. But what about the portal? Where does it go, anyway? Nowhere, obviously. It's broken. Maybe. We built these so we could visit each other. Mm -hmm. An object in the frame would teleport you to the owner. My idea, by the way. It but might Romeo not have took up. credit for it. Fred wanted to add the birch. He loved birch. So you'd know how to rebuild it. And get us up to the admin. I don't know if I can. <sighs> uh, let's do if it. If it was that your way. idea, then you should know how to fix it, right? Unless it really was Romeo's invention. Mm, let's make her mad. It was not. I don't know. Not sure I buy it. I see what you're doing. I don't get it. Why don't you keep going? Look where you are. But you're still fighting. Why? The admin hurt the people I care about. Nobody gets away with that. Mm, Nobody. That, yeah. So I'm finding Fred's weapon and taking him down. Take your medicine. Fine. It won't work without a personal object. <coughs> Something with a strong bond to Romeo to take us right to him. Though an object crafted on the surface could do in a pinch. Let me worry about finding an object for the portal. You just focus on getting it running. Follow the tracks. They'll lead you to Fred's keep. Whatever Fred found, he hid it at home. That's what he told me. Jesse! Go. I'll see what I can do. New scissors. I my hands numb and I'm in, about to get in a battle, sorry. Find the weapon. 
kind of yeah. useless unless we can find a way I, out of here. I made the battle. Can't exactly go back up through that prison. sara has got it covered. Oh, great. Just what this Creepers. place needed. Run on ahead! Creepers! Oh, sweet. I never say no to a little gunpowder. You got that right. You never know when you need to Close make an one. explosive exit. Fred, keep! Here we come! Uh, Jesse? Oh, crap! Enderman. Who made eye contact with the Enderman? I'm sorry. You're so mesmerizing. Ah. Love you too, baby. You gotta love the eyes. And you know what? That is where we're going to end episode one, part four. If you like this video, peeps, let us know by clicking that like button down below. And if you're at all new to the channel and are considering subscribing, click that little subscribe button. After you do, a little bell icon will pop up. If you click that little bell, you'll know when we post a video and when we do a live stream. And if you have just recently subscribed, let us know down below in the comments. I'm a subscriber. I just recently subscribed. Whatever you want to say. We'll go to your page. We'll subscribe back. We'll give you a shout out in a future Minecraft video. And if you're wondering, Mama, where are all the shout outs that you keep set talking about? I have the names written down on the wall in the peepshin. Just without the dual computers, it's hard to get us both into the peep shun to do the video. So maybe tomorrow we can sit down and actually both of us be next to each other and do a shout out video. I'm hoping that is why the shout out specials have been delayed. Without the second computer, it's kind of hard for both of us to be in the same place. Thanks again, peeps. Hope you liked this episode. We will see you in the next video. Bye.